Okay, everybody. Hello. Welcome to November. This is probably going to be the episode that kills me and convinces me to get the hell off this map. <laughs> I just have this funny feeling anyways. Uh, how's it going? It's, uh, like I said, November. We're in deep into year three in here in Comlands. The 200 horsepower challenge. There are days I wish I had 250 horsepower and there are other days that I just wish I never signed up. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, man, I can't even tell you how much I've learned playing this map as I've been uh, drunk on easy economy, making all kinds of money. Uh, it's just been, I, I can, I'll, I would encourage you if you play farming simulator and you're sort of stuck, like I was stuck in my ways, I'd play always hard economy, almost always starting from scratch. Uh, you know, starting the woods somewhere and it was always pretty much the same thing. This was completely different and, uh, and I've enjoyed every second of it. Uh, it is becoming a little bit much for me. Uh, the fields are becoming a little ridiculous. Uh, the process is becoming a little bit crazy, but, uh, but I'm going to hang in there. This is episode 25. I I'm sure I'll end up a couple more cause we're going to plant some stuff today and I'm going to want to harvest it. So uh, let me just quickly, uh, well, let's quickly pop into the, uh, the map and I can show you what, uh, what I did since the last time we saw each other. Okay, so here's what we got. Uh, if you recall, we bought these additional pieces over here uh, so I could make this field. So we harvested this uh, sunflower field. So what we are gonna need today do today is, uh, okay, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna get through as much of this as possible today. Uh, that's sunflowers and this is wheat. They're both ready to harvest, right? So we have a sunflower field and we have a wheat field with some tire tracks in it that are ready to harvest. So those are that's that's uh, uh, paramount. We're gonna uh, get on that right away and get the um, get the harvester going. So that gets done. I have a tractor sitting right here, ready to uh, begin seeding the mega field. So that's gotta happen. So it's a harvest. This guy's gonna be going while the harvester's going. And then over here, uh, I've now gone and uh, mapped out the field. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to put a temporary field in there because we're going to want to mow out this section, take all that grass, likely put it into, well, we'll make sure the grass dryer is topped up. And then uh, beyond that, we'll go and we'll put it all into silage. Uh, and then we want to go and we want to cut this field and we need to get it uh, uh, lined, planted, sort of fertilized, all that kind of crap. So that is the uh, Northwest Creekside Field. Then we want to do the same over here with your mom's house. Uh, we want to mow all of this out, right? So we're going to mow out your mom's house and then we're going to cut this and then we're going to plant your mom's house. Uh, okay, then uh, this is ready to mow. I don't know whether we're going to do that today because we're going to already have mowed all of this and all of this, but uh, it is ready to mow. Uh, there's an, an additional building in here that I'll uh, show you in a second. Uh, we've cut, or I've I've mapped out the roadside field, which is just basically just we own this property, so I figured, well, what the hell, we might as well do that. So possibly we'll mow that today. That's uh, something we can do. Uh, the riverside grass field is we don't do anything with that. It's not ready for for anything. Mega field southeast. Oh, I don't even know why I did this. I did this last minute. I'm like, oh, that looks like fun. So I bought uh, this field and this field to kind of close this out. Uh, trust me, it was everything I could not to buy this field here. So that is that. So we're going to have to mow that. And then I'm going to, I want to plant this. I don't want to just leave it as grass. I want to put a crop in there and I don't know what I want to put in there yet. And no, it's not going to be potatoes or beets or anything like that. No, that's not happening. So that's going to happen at some point, hopefully. <laughs> like we said, this one's going to get harvested. Uh, this one is business as usual. It'll be ready in the next episode, South Central Creekside. Then we have South Central back here. This one, this this field, uh, there's a chance these two could get merged and then I would just sort of change the names or whatever. But I didn't map this one out yet because I, I want to kind of change the shape and stuff of it. Uh, the, wet, the wet spot is fine, so the wet spot can stay like that. So let's, I want to just tab into this guy here and get him going with the cedar, and then I'm going to get, uh, we'll get the harvester going, well, whatever, we'll drive over there, and then I have a new building over here that I'll show you, and I have a new building over here that I'll show you. So let's remember this view later. 
uh, let's all say serenity now <laughs> and, and let's uh, launch into what should be an interesting day. So let me shut this. I don't want any bugs in the house. I got to hop in my step, obviously. So I think that's sorghum. I don't even remember anymore. That's not ready. There's the oat field. Uh, so I did not map that one out yet. Also, uh, we're just going to make a temporary um, outline of that field. And then once, once we're done, uh, I'm going to reshape that field a little bit and um, and then we'll we'll sort of map it out properly and call it something. I don't know what we're going to call that yet. Okay, uh, I accidentally, I believe, yeah, barley. So I thought I was planting wheat here and realized I was planting barley and I have no idea what happened up there where there's a strip that uh, that's just blank. I, I don't know what that what that is. My uh, so over here, so I I think with wheat, like we we currently have Sorry, I don't want to jump around here, but we do have to figure out what to plant. So uh, both bird enclosures are full. So 71,000 liters in the big ducks, which we're going to have to take care of at some point there. 56,000 liters over in the, the ducklings. These guys are never going to eat that, I don't think. I have another 125,000 liters. So we, we could I, we have a lot of wheat and I'm about to take a crap ton of wheat off of uh, off of the, the big field we got in the back there. So I don't think I'm going to plant wheat in this one. I might plant canola again and then when we harvest the canola fields I will maybe plant plant wheat over there. Kind of trying to do a little bit of um, what do you call it? Crop rotation? I think that's what it is. So let's make sure that we're changing this. There we go. So I've since learned a few things about um, about making your fields and, and how uh, you remember I was having those issues where the uh, I would hit the start and the tractor would immediately like jog into the field and, and go well I was mapping all of my fields out with the with like a trailer on it or with like a, a plow or something like that so when you go and you and you record your field uh, you should essentially have your tractor kind of straddling the border of the field and I was further in the field just because the implement was pushing me into the field so that's what uh, what we we're having an issue there so anyways Thank you, Farmer Mike and uh, Jack Sarge and uh, anybody else that popped in uh, to the comments and helped me out there. I feel like I'm really learning a lot. And, and, and anyways, uh, besides that, uh, what, what a great bunch of people that I've met through making these videos in this challenge. Like, absolutely ridiculous. The list is quite long for, for you know, as far as the... Uh, the awesome people that have uh, have been a part of this, but super cool. That's that's the part I, I absolutely did not anticipate uh, when jumping on board here, at all. <laughs> that's been that's been probably the best surprise out of everything, and really cool how everybody just wants to kind of help each other, which is which is awesome. So I guess we'll do the sunflowers first, and then we'll jump into that massive wheat field after. All right, so this thing doesn't really fold up very much, does it? Oh, because <laughs> that's not the sun. I'm like, why doesn't that fold up? That's because that's not the right header. But we're off to a good start, folks. So the nice thing when we go to harvest this field is we don't have the fence there anymore because I took out the cow pasture. We don't have to worry about trying to having to rescue our uh, our driver. Okay, buddy. I'll go get someone to work with you now. Hopefully this doesn't cause us problems because he's so wide. Ah, crap. You know what? I need more tractors. <laughs> I need a tractor that... So this is... You know what? All right, whatever. Let's try. <clears throat> if we run into a problem... If we run into a problem, we'll figure it out. But... Uh, okay, let's see how bad I would have screwed this up. This guy's harvesting, which is great. I see the tractor trying to make its way around the field right now. Come on, buddy. Really, what I want to see is, is, is are the, um, will the wheels clear? Once I know that's good, then these buddies, <laughs> these buddies, these guys can pretty much work together for the rest of the day. And uh, we can go on to the next thing.
Okay, that's not ideal. So there's a bit of a love tap there. Shoot. I wonder if that's going to stop them from going again. We'll see, because if the tractor backs up, then he's going to end up tapping the harvester again. And if it's enough to knock them off the track, maybe, uh, maybe we'll have a problem. Uh, so remember in the last episode, we got ourselves up to a million dollars at one point in the bank. Um, we did, like I said, spend some money. So we'll show you soon what that was all about. I've got, I want to say just aged cheese alone. That's, that's the right price right now which so we can sell it I think would probably get us back to a million bucks I could sell silage okay good good okay you went first all right so <clears throat> that was an ideal but we'll just let them let them be uh, okay so we want to go get the other tractor yeah so I could probably sell silage right now and we would have <laughs> we still have soybeans kicking around we still have potatoes we're up to 40,000 liters of potatoes I think, can I not put potato? I guess I can't put potatoes in a, in the uh, BGA. I still have seeds sitting there. Okay, I got to get that. Eggs, yeah, we're going to use those. Milk, we're going to use that. There's quite a bit there. Chaff, wood chips. Okay, so, oh, I did, um, I think a number of you had give me a, a, some input on what to do with wood chips, and I don't know that I fully grasped it, but I did notice there's two little heating plants that you can uh, use wood chips for. I don't think it's going to be worth us doing that with the few wood chips we have, but I did notice that. Uh, yeah, look at silage. So we could sell uh, we could sell all of our silage right now and make one point eight million dollars, but that's not what we're gonna do. We're gonna use it for uh, for for well, we're gonna burn it otherwise. But uh, okay, hay, straw, diesel, flour. We're using that, but there's quite a bit there. Bread. We haven't been making that, but we probably could. Uh, cake. We're sitting at one hundred and five thousand dollars, so that's not right. Butter, cheese. It's not really good yet. Sugar we're using. We have 350,000. Uh, we're getting closer with canola oil. Like, just look at the oils. There's a million dollars in oil right there. Grab juice. 84. Strawberries. We're using that. Planks are getting back up there again. Who knew Who? who knew that, uh, like, wood products would be the least exciting? Okay, so we could take manure out of the, <laughs> we could scoop up, I got to figure out a good way to get the manure and pick that up, but there's almost half a million dollars in manure there, huge amounts of uh, for slurry, Digest, digestate's just got to build itself back up, uh, pig food's getting up there, it's always the right price, we're up to $34,000 in sugar cookies, and look at that, almost $600,000 in aged cheese, <laughs> Oh, aged cheese. That's not even, and it's worth $637,000. Crazy. Okay. That answers that question. This thing's going to get messy. Um, okay, well, you know what? We can go, we'll go the long way around and we'll end up at the, uh, I don't remember what it's called, but we'll end up at the newer field up in the, it was, it was one of the sunflower fields. So let's go over here first. We'll see the first thing that we put in. Hopefully the kids behave. Behave, kids. <laughs> Get out of the crops. Uh, okay, well, there is BGA number one, and we now have BGA number two in the back here. So this is the... Uh, this is the... 65? 60 kilowatt. Where's the uh, thing there? So we can go take a look. This is the, So this we have the 50 and the 60 now. I think... 50, 60, yes. So we haven't we haven't made a lot of we this, we just turned this thing on anyways. But normally I'll just skip through here, but let's uh, just go take a quick look. So you can grasp the size of this field. All right, so we're going to be mowing out this field off to the right here after. Yeah, like all as far as the eye can see. And then we're going to plant that with something. I don't know what to plant it with. Uh, actually, maybe, well, I don't know. I was going to say maybe what we should do is plant a big cornfield and then I'll get the giant corn dryer, but maybe not. Who knows? Uh, so this is Riverside Grassfield. Off to the left, up here, this is 
roadside field. So it's it's a smaller field, but still still large enough. It goes back to the trees there. I'm pretty much on the property line right now. And kind of comes across here. Down this uh, pesky hill. Sorry, I had to look. This is what I found. First of all, I found a water. A, wa a water? I found water. These guys are playing chicken. The fence lost, apparently. Oh, yeah, so the, the, the nudge that this tractor gets, or the combine gets from it, is just basically a little... Just a little shake. I'm gonna try to keep this light and fun today. Uh, all right, let's peek back here and make sure that we have manure actually showing up. Oh yeah, there it is. So we have manure piling up in both. That was the question whether manure is gonna show up in that one. The manure kind of looks like it's overflowing in the back. That's disgusting. Cows are probably gonna need some food. Uh, anyways, okay, here's the here's the other new addition. I think uh, both the grass dryer and the hayloft were here when we met last. Uh, so we've added this. Uh, I, I'm I'm not I'm not sold on this building. Uh, I thought it was a good idea. I mean, it, it's a so it, this will hold straw. It's a it only has a capacity of four million liters, so we might fill that up quickly, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, so you can load the straw on the side there, which is great. Uh, when you want to come and take the straw. You drive... I, I thought this was kind of neat, and I'm questioning it anyways. We'll see how quickly it fails. Well, how low is this roof? Oh, yeah, see? I, I, gotta, I gotta see if a forge wagon's even gonna make it under there. Shoot. Anyways, uh... So you would drive through here... Across this treacherous... <laughs> treacherous... Uh, bridge... It's a neat idea, but I don't know. And then you come around here and off. So there's that that doesn't scream uh, all kinds of places that it could fail, does it? <laughs> so we'll try that, but now I'm seeing that. I'm like, I don't know if the forge wagon, I don't know how, how tall the forge wagon is compared to this tractor. All right, well, okay. So let's pass your mom's house. That's right here. I know what you're thinking. Uh, it looks way bigger in person. When you look at it on the map, it doesn't look as big, but when you see that thing in person, it's a lot bigger. Okay, so let's see. I think we got to do, like I mentioned, I think we got to do just a quick temporary field here. Okay, buddy. Have fun. Okay, thank you for your help. Go dump that. We'll go get this thing started. I was just toggling through and happened to catch this. That doesn't look very safe, does it? <laughs> this little guy ripped in here. So that obviously the um, having the quad tires didn't make the most sense when you want somebody to cart this nimble little tractor here is probably the best. But man, he came flying in there and uh, well, let's just hope that he makes a right and not a left. All right, so the mower's coming along well. I, I'm going to get a forge wagon set up. Or not a forge, yeah, forge wagon. So uh, what I've not been doing is selling anything. So <laughs> I've kind of been chasing stuff around. So I'm hoping uh, hoping we can get to get things lined up here. And then and then I can start, uh, start selling. I just realized I had the time down there too. There really is no rest when you've got uh, all this going on. So in hindsight, would I have uh, done this map the same way and um, and had as many you know productions and fields and all the rest of the stuff? I mean, this is by no means a lot because I know that some people have way more, so it's not, not that impressive. But uh, it's still blowing my mind. I would, um, I mean, with the addition of course play and auto drive, I probably would have simplified things. Maybe I don't know. Uh, 
and and the easy economy has definitely skewed things obviously uh you know when i would normally just play in a hard economy or even no i've never played normal economy i wouldn't mind trying that but uh th- I'm, I'm just making so much money right so it's just not not very it's not a fair judgment like every time i sell something i'm a, I'm a millionaire again it makes no sense unless i unless i asked it to start on the on the middle no anyways it's all good let's keep moving I don't think there's any way to just drive these straight. Uh, okay, let's go find a tractor and a trailer. Step one, tractor acquired. All right, I have a trailer over here, I think. Yes. This one's gonna get us some soybeans and we're gonna take those soybeans and probably just dump them right into the sell everything container. I know it's maybe not the best time, but I want to free up 125,000 liters of capacity. And uh, once we get the large bird enclosure filled, then we'll put the rest into this uh, this now open silo. Hopefully, I can put some soybeans in this trailer. Wheat, soybeans. Oh, was there wheat in? The, there was wheat stored in the actual auger. All right, well, this week can go right here. Uh, so this guy's taking this probably to the birdhouse. I didn't, I didn't actually catch how many were in there, and I can't remember what the capacity of this trailer is. So hopefully we get them all in one shot. I could, I could maybe keep the soybeans in this trailer for a few minutes until we figure out what we want to do with it. But if it fills up, then no, I'm just going to sell them. Yeah, we're full. Uh, and there's still... What? 1,700 liters. All right, you know what? We've hung on to these soybeans long enough. I'm not even checking the price. we got other things, uh, bigger fish to fry, as they say. <laughs> be great if that uh, auger over there could fit the cell ev- or reach the cell everything container because then I could basically just dump immediately into it all right we're cruising along I'm trying my best not to um, not to change the uh, the speed of the of gameplay uh, below three I don't want to just sit here with like at one speed I mean it's got to get nighttime eventually we can only fit so much into the day you know All right, so we picked up a couple bucks that way. Well, let's hope a tractor doesn't come flying through here while I'm doing this. I'm gonna have to change the route now. I'm starting to think that the drive over silos <laughs> might be good. This is, these ones are good when you're, um, when you're doing everything like manually. <laughs> but as soon as you wanna set up a, a auto drive this uh i can see the limitations or better better yet i can see where the frustrations will come from but i will say that was some good driving <laughs> hey buddy you missed Godspeed. All right, let's go find the uh, let's go find the forge wagon. Where's the forge wagon? Look, we toggled through every vehicle and not come across the forge wagon. Does that make anybody else nervous? Is this why I could hear the vehicle, but I couldn't see it?
are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know what to expect because I can't get in this vehicle. Definitely can't tab into the vehicle. Oh, where are you going now? It's like a ghost vehicle though. But it's still delivering its hay or its grass. Look, it's dumping the grass. <laughs> I don't know where she's going next though. Oh my gosh. I knew this was gonna be one of these days. Didn't I mention something about this day killing me? The only thing I can think of is I can go into my vehicle list maybe and try to sell that. But I kind of want to see if it's gonna keep working for me. I don't know how it ended up in the lake. I don't want it to like go ripping across like a crop field. I mean, helpers, um, as far as I know, helpers, they can't do crop destruction, so at least I don't think there's any worry that uh, it's going to go and destroy a bunch of crops, but I should have known when it took off in a weird way earlier, I shouldn't have just let it go. Okay, so mental note from now on, when something doesn't seem right, it's definitely not going to be right. I'm just really curious if she's gone back to the field or if she's gone, like, back to the lake. I don't see her in the field. Yeah, because she'd be over there in that grass field right now, but she's not... Oh, right there, up at the top. Be cool if she just parked and said she was done her job, but she doesn't look like she's moving. Uh, okay, well, we'll go check that out. Um, interesting, very interesting. <laughs> Let's go get this field. Uh, uh, no, we're not planting. So the sunflower field now needs to be planted. Uh, we're not gonna plant that until we go over with a uh, cultivator and make a new field. So let's take this over here. We're gonna go, we'll go look at the, the forge wagon drama in a second. We're gonna get this one on the sprayer so we get the, uh, get the canola field sprayed. Next uh, trivia question in regards to spraying. Rumor has it maybe that uh, if you spray immediately after planting before germination, you uh, either potentially lose some yield or but don't get weeds or or you could but i don't think you get weeds because we've seen now uh fields grow with no weeds in them after spraying so is it a yield potential yield cost anybody know oh sounds vicious outside we're in the middle of a uh of an april blizzard potentially uh, could wake up to 20 centimeters of snow in the morning, which is really not cool. Motor, our local motocross track was supposed to open this uh, this weekend, or at least that's what they were aiming for. And now we just got uh, rocked by a snowstorm. Oh gosh, okay, is this thing gonna end up in the lake too? Somewhere, there's a first waypoint somewhere around here. And it's probably up at the top, I guess is what I'm gonna find out, so. Oh, there it is. Oh, the, the forge wagon is still sitting over there, so. Before we go mow, let's go check the stupid forge wagon out. And okay, so if I can't, uh, I can't reset it. I can't if I can't get into it. I can't tab into it. If it's literally just, it potentially is dead. Uh, then we'll try to hopefully go into the list of uh, owned vehicles and sell it right out of there. Are you okay in there? It's possible she had some kind of medical emergency. Well, unfortunately, we had to sell it. <laughs> I didn't know what else to do, that was brutal. Okay, so I'm gonna buy that back, so hang tight, I'll be right back. Unbelievable, man. All right, it's new tractor day. I'm not gonna mess around with this, we're just gonna send this right to 
All right, you go there. I'll meet you there. Put you to work. Oh, yeah, okay, you gotta go do a lap first. Perfect. Yeah, the orange looks pretty sporty. And the unfortunate thing about this is I did a temporary field, so when we get the forge wagon in here, it's gonna cover way too much ground. It's gonna be, um, not until I get the, I draw the proper custom field here will it work properly. I guess I could cut this field, eh? I kind of wanted to do the other fields that, that, um, because I want to make the new fields before to get some crops growing. So yeah, let's do that. We'll get the we'll we'll get the new we'll get these fields cut so we can plant or cut fields and I think you know what I mean. <laughs> God, if you could hear my dismay. Oh, the cows have even been fed. Guys, you all right? I gotta get some straw and some uh, some food in there. I did leave a little area here just to, if I needed a, to program in a turnaround or something. There's a crazy thing about easy economy though, like we basically dumped a $100,000 tractor in the lake. It, it, we got 60 grand for it and then we just bought ourselves another tractor, oh. Which is not here yet. Where is this? Oh my gosh, what is happening here? We're gonna get a lot done today. It's only noon. We'll definitely get both fields harvested. I wanna get, uh, we gotta get this aged cheese sold too. So once we get to uh, I'll have to free somebody up and get the auto load trailer going and start spawning spawning pallets. It's as good of good as any a place to start. Alright, so let's be smart about this and give myself a little bit of room in certain places. Or not. Turn. <laughs> you can start to see a few things we're gonna have to move around. I gotta be careful through here in case there's any uneven ground that sends me flying. I was looking at, uh, I had a, a job um, in kind of one of the neighboring towns today, and I was looking at, uh, as there's quite a few farm fields between myself and where I had to go, and I was looking at, uh, at the, the, especially the big fields, nobody had squared off corners. Everything, at the very least, was a really tight turn, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, there wasn't a single squared off corner anywhere. So I think I'll start sort of taking a cue from that and and always having a little bit of a rounded corner. We'll know when we hit it. There's a couple of places where I sort of cut a corner here, so we'll see if it, yeah, okay, okay. I like the, uh, I like how it's gonna make these fields too, cause they're gonna look a little more natural with some of the rounded corners. Can't believe we, oh, look at even that. Come on, somebody give me a break here. <laughs> what the heck? The wind rose upside down. I don't think it's gonna connect. We got rid of our nice uh, stealth black tractor for a bright orange. All right, JCP telehandler handler to save the day. So let me think of something. So we're obviously doing things that we wouldn't normally like in a once all, once everything like obviously making these fields and deleting custom fields and making new outlines and 
that, that kind of stuff is only going to happen today because after today, all of our fields will be made. We'll have, you know, custom, we'll have all of our normal fields saved and then the, uh, like all the specific jobs will be saved in, in there and in the folders. Oh, this is not going to make it up here. <laughs> I'm, I guess I'm trying to try to make myself feel better. So after today, uh, things will be easier. <laughs> things are going to get easier, aren't they? I mean, here I was thinking my biggest problem was trying to get the forge wagon into that, uh, into the hayloft. So I guess thinking about that then, um, if the forge wagon's too tall, well, the forge wagon doesn't have to go in there because if I can get a smaller or a lower trailer to cart straw, then I don't need to worry about the, the forge wagon just has to dump her on the outside of the building. fall over <laughs> yes connect all right you know what this guy reminds me of you remembering cars guido it's up okay i'm feeling good about this i hope <laughs> please be good man we don't need you snorkeling You're here. Maybe we can sell off a few of these. Inevitably, there's going to be 500 ducklings in here, male ducklings. We'll just keep the female ducklings in here. Oh, yeah, 2,000. Oh, not bad. Only 233 this time. Let's see if I have a free tractor. So this guy's carding. This guy's going to be on the cedar. This one's doing a lap around the outside for some reason. But uh, it says it's only a few minutes left. This one's going to be mowing. Yeah, I, I think we need I think we need one more tractor. Cuz next this one's going on to the southwest field, which is going to be a doozy. So, um who was it that told me so that see where it says one hour and one minute that doesn't include turning it basically that's that's the time under under load I guess under work so when they're actually doing the job that's what uh, that's what that time reads that's quite impressive this should take a little while that's it and this is just non-stop mowing so this this field there's a, some wet spots over here too by the by the uh, hill, so I didn't go very far up the hill at all. I didn't. I, I did not take advantage of all of what I could have over here. But like, my God, look at the size of it. Ugh. So how's this episode going for everybody? <laughs> what the hell? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is. We're getting a tractor. Uh, so what I was thinking just now is that I can't uh, fit the. Um, I can't fit this into the hayloft. So here's what we're doing. We're going to set this one to go sell some uh, aged fromage. Uh, we're going to buy another tractor and we're going to get that to start feeding the, uh, the, the cows. And that's what we're going to do. And I have no idea what I was just talking about before that. <laughs> I've lost my mind. You know, this style of gameplay, I don't know that it's something that I'd want to do all the time. Like. I don't this is this is like um, how do we kind of test the maximums well, for me anyways uh, you know likely like let's say we did a playthrough on a, like Alma Missouri or something where the fiesta fields are big but I'm not gonna have all the stuff going on that's going on on this map here like I just don't think that would be uh, a reasonable way to play there. Let me go check the <laughs> the market is where the where the sell it and it's right 
right behind it. There's one well-dressed guy in there. I was kind of wondering why the milk was, uh, why the milk trailer was right there. Now obviously I know. <laughs> uh, there's no reason to sell this other than just to have millions of dollars in the bank. <laughs> With all of the stuff that we've been through today, it does kind of make you feel better. Uh, okay, well, let's let us uh, look here quickly, folks. There you go. Hot or not. Overpriced at $194,000, perhaps. Perhaps. This is going to be an overpriced milk runner for us right now. I got to get this guy feeding cows. Let me just cash in here first. You'd hardly know that we uh, just bought a $200,000 tractor when I sell this. Perfect. I'll take it. All right, we'll get the we'll get the JCB onto the uh, onto the milk run. We'll get this guy to pick up a forage wagon and go feed those dang cows. <laughs> They'll have no food, no straw, guaranteed. Oh wait, that's exactly what I just said. The problem was John Deere was just about done, so John Deere is going to go and be the uh, uh, he's going to feed the cows because they'll be able to go through the, the uh, hayloft to get the straw. We are going to need this again as we cut more fields. So let's just top it up. Wow. So with the cows currently, it looked like it, it looked to me like we needed to feed the cows in the morning and at night. And I have not done that. Oops, sorry. Robes. <laughs> okay, hopefully that works. We'll just hitch a ride up here till we can get to the forage wagon, I think. I always like the look of these fast tracks. At some point, it'd be nice to get to take all of our tractors and sell them and then have all just the same tractors. <laughs> we cursed over here. This guy's back already. All right, we cleaned out the f f aged cheese. We're not, we could potentially sell cookies, I guess. If there's a benefit to uh, using this cookie sell point, which was part of the, uh, part of the pack, we might be silly not to, right? That's more like it. 
Uh, but that doesn't mean we have to sell them right now. I was looking for anything that might be a large hit. Okay, we'll let that spawn out. We'll be uh, taking a couple of runs up to the, I think that was a co-op, right? Good. We'll go around one more time. So what do these guys have? They have still 27,000 liters of milk. No slurry. We've cleaned them out of slurry. And these guys have 43,000. So I think the JCB is probably coming one more time for for milk. Anyway, sorry for not feeding you guys. That's kind of a thing move. This beast's gotta get a cedar and we gotta get some seeds in the ground over there. This is like one hell of a day there, folks. Fertilizer begotten. At one time, this was an oat field. Maybe we'll make it an oat field again. Midfield, oat field. All right, we got to think about what's going on here. So we have a uh, forge wagon, which is taking its dang time over here. Possibly not even doing anything. It was a JCB. Hey, buddy. The new guy. This, uh, so this field has absolutely killed our progress today. Yeah, look at that. Stuck in a tree. Okay, my bad. I shouldn't have I should have done like 10 headlands. <laughs> okay, relax, relax. <laughs> Let me get rid of this. Ugh. This is so unsafe. Oh I just got clobbered by a tree. Stop! Ah! <laughs> what the heck? Okay, pause, pause, pause. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. That did not go well. <laughs> that was fun. All right, I'm I'm uh, doubtful this is gonna work, but let's see if this guy's got what it takes to get a full load of 
canola oil up to... When I say up to, I should probably check to see if where we're supposed to sell it. All right, at the co-op. Okay, I'm not sure what just happened there, but let's kind of loop around here and try that again. Oh, the handling, it's like this thing is on ice when you've got some weight behind it. So we'll put more weight on it. Actually, you know what? Let's send this up like it is, because then there's only like 20,000 liters after this. Okay, somebody's got to get started on the straw. That guy's going to hit a tree again, I'm sure of it. We still have grass fields and straw. Yeah, we have like one, two, three more fields that have been mowed that need to get picked up, and this guy's just wasting our time back there. All right, buddy, you're now on straw duty. Let's get you on that. Okay, this guy's gonna get the lime spreader now that he's done putting the seeds in this field. This has been like, this is crazy. This is a, so I have three hours of recording time. There's been plenty of off, uh, like off camera stuff that had to get done. Um, it's like, it's a lot of stuff to do in a day. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know that that's uh, exactly how I want to play this game. Between this episode uh, and the next one, I will go and I'll make sure all the fields are cut. There's nothing for, uh, you know, I don't know any trees that uh, anybody's going to get caught on. I'll basically spend a, a little bit of time, which is probably going to be a lot of time, um, just kind of making everything... Uh, right, and then we'll have a, an episode where I know there'll be a harvest. Uh, we'll make sure there's some stuff to harvest. We'll, uh, we'll visit the animals. We'll do all the good stuff, and we'll see if it's a little more relaxing than uh, than playing catch up like we're doing here. Obviously, these trees are going to have to go. Yeah, anyways, on that note, why don't we do this? I'll say goodbye. Uh, I will uh, get ourselves into a position of comfort and enjoyment and relaxation. <laughs> so when we see each other again, it will literally be that. It'll be like a nice therapy session, not a uh, not something that's inducing uh, therapy visits. <laughs> this has just been crazy and, and a lot anyways, so... Uh, does that make sense? And then I'll make sure we got all the right equipment. Maybe I'll trade a few things in. Maybe we'll have, uh, you know, multiple harvesters going. I don't know. I've said that. I, I sort of uh, uh, kind of said that I might do that already, but it never did. Does that work for you? Anyways, let me know what you think. And uh, I'm just going to go rest my head. Uh, maybe take a look outside and see what the blizzard is doing. I imagine the kids are not going to have school tomorrow. That's... Uh, going to limit the amount of work we can get done. But anyways, all right, you guys have a great night. Thanks again for all your support. And uh, you can probably hear it in my voice. I'm defeated. <laughs> what the hell if you? I'll leave you as I'm pushing this log out of the way. <laughs> Ciao.